A day in the life of someone with anxiety. Every morning I wake up with the overwhelming fear or anxiety that I've woken up late or that I missed my bus or that one of my pets isn't okay. Basically, I'm always in fear that something in my life or everything in my life has gone wrong or been ruined. But I take deep breaths, count to ten, and get back on track with my day. I suffer from normal anxiety and existential anxiety. Existential anxiety is the overwhelming fear and realization that as humans, we simply exist. Thinking of this always sends me into a frenzy inside my mind. I always worry about life passing me by too fast. And I can never stop thinking about the fact that one day I'll wake up and everything that has happened in my life so far will be done and over and forgotten about. This becomes a different type of anxiety for me. It makes me always say I love you to everyone I love before I leave them so they know I truly care about them. It makes me apologize the, until the person I'm apologizing to says it's okay because I cannot handle the fact that I made someone upset or fall through their lives in any way. My anxiety also changes the way I am in school or in public. If I have to go somewhere or throw my trash away, I always make sure I'm not the first person to go because then everybody's looking at me and paying attention to everything I do. But I also can't go right after someone because I'm copying them. But, and then there's the anxiety I get when I need to ask for something. If I need to get something, I always stutter while asking or I have to rehearse it 1,000 times over in my head. Then there's the anxiety I get when I need to speak in front of people or present one of my ideas. I always worry that someone will have a problem with something I say or think. And I've been shown that people never like what you say, so I try to be careful of what I do and say so I don't seem dumb or stupid. You may not experience the same things and feelings I do. 18.1% of the adult U.S. population suffers from anxiety. That's two of every ten people. So... A lot of people who are hearing this speech may experience these things too. There's always a way to overcome your anxiety.